the autism spectrum disorders are what we call a developmental disability. Uh, as we progress through life from infancy uh, into toddlerhood, into childhood and adolescence and into adulthood, uh, we typically uh, go up through a series of developmental milestones. Uh, at the very early stages of life, those early milestones are mostly related to communication skills and, and motor skills. We all know that there, there's this, this amazing process related to uh, how uh, a, a young infant learns how to communicate with his or her primary caregivers and, and how to socially interact with others. And then the, the gross and fine motor stuff, you know, the, the sitting up, the rolling over, the, the standing up and the cruising that happens when, when, when individuals start to learn how to walk and manipulate things with their hands and stuff. And what happens with developmental disorders is that something in the central nervous system of these individuals is miswired. And what happens is, is that those, that typical stepwise progression of developmental milestones gets interfered with and, and uh, disrupted. And so what you end up with is an individual that is not hitting those communication, those social, and those motor milestones. And so by the time they reach the age of three or four, they, in comparison to all their typically developing peers, are further behind. And that's why th we used to call them developmental delays. Now we just call them a developmental disorder. And a specific subset of these developmental disorders is something that's called autism. Uh, autism has been around uh, in different ways and different perceptions uh, since the 1940s. Uh, it's only recently in the last 20 years gained a lot of attention. Uh, in, in, out in our society, but it has been identified as a childhood uh, uh, developmental disorder since somewhere around the mid-1940s.